Hey everyone, welcome to the dire. I don't know if that's a word on its own. The only way I know dire is like the consequences are dire. But I found this on Steam, came out very recently, a couple days ago. Not many people have played it, but it Five looks- goddamn months. Good. Finally back. Voice acting. We are yet another Urbex Explorer <laughs> and we're gonna go vlogging. <laughs> An abandoned building. I feel like I've played like three of these kind of games recently. Is that my equipment? Ooh. Oh, hello. Do I have a flashlight? Not yet. I like the little pop-up. It reminds me of Alien Isolation. Can I read that? Hey Dean, I was thinking maybe you could take me on the next Urbex. I've read a bit about the mansion in Clover Springs. Maybe I could be of help. But seriously, I have absolutely nothing to do for the next month. And remember, you promised over and out. Okay. So are we bringing a friend along? Or what? Darkness. The boogeyman is in my closet. Oh, another one? Annie, seriously, get yourself a new phone. I'm fed up with writing these stupid notes. Besides, we live 50 meters from each other. We could use those cup and string phones. Sure, I'll take you urbexing, but I'm not sure about the timing. School's been really stressing me out lately. Can we talk about it tomorrow? Do you think tomorrow is today? What other equipment do I need? Oh, what was that? The Raven. Oh, I have to click and hold, okay. Dr. Afton? Alton? No, Afton? Those are some big pills. Oh, there is something in there. Is that a camera? Let's hope it is. I am ready to do some urbex exploring. Ooh, cool. Dude, that's awesome. Let's go. That looks cool. I love the style. Is that my car? Why'd you got bushes in the back? Oh, hello. I love the subtle soundtrack that's playing in the background. Wait, are we living in the woods? I thought we were at our destination, but... Maybe we're just living in the middle of nowhere. Long drive. <clears throat> okay, let's start it here. We are saddened to report the death of Diane Reed, the only daughter of the Reed family. Her body was found in the bathroom of their mansion at eight o'clock this morning. The rest of the family was getting ready for breakfast at the time. Her body was found by her father, after which he immediately notified emergency services. An autopsy later showed that Diane had been dead for at least a few hours. It was ruled a suicide. It is believed she used an old towel the family kept in the kitchen to suffocate herself. A towel? The reasoning behind her suicide is, as of yet, unclear. She was so young and innocent, always happy, always smiling, I can't believe this. Life seems to hurt the most innocent souls, said one neighbor of the family after the tragedy. Our hearts go out to the Reed family during these difficult times. Robert Wright of Clover Springs was reported missing last night. He left his high school friend's house three days ago when he was alleged to have crossed the plant field near Route 96. Since then, all trace of him was lost making him the third high schooler missing in two weeks in Ooh, Clover Springs. In two weeks, that's... Clover High School has temporarily closed its doors. The police advise citizens not to leave their houses after dark and to be careful. Yo guys, it's Dean, back again with another video. Sorry for the long break. I, I didn't have time to record anything. Uh, you know, family problems, school, you know. But we are back with a big one. I really had to dig to get these recordings but let's quit the chit chat and get down to business. Clover Springs, quiet town in Washington, green grass, fresh air, black coffee. In there, Reed's perfect family, respected, wealthy. Yet the daughter offs herself out of nowhere. And after that, 
Things get really weird in that small town. Few people disappear, including the rest of the Reed's family. Father, mother, and son simply vanished. No trace. After a year, the town is basically abandoned. All moved out. Abandoned. I went online and stumbled upon this interesting theory, in which Diane's father was responsible for those missing teenagers. Some sources state that Diane was heavily bullied in school, and that would be the reason why she... So the father, seeking revenge, chose those teens, revenge. buried them somewhere, and then flies to Cuba. I don't know. It's just a theory. A game theory. There isn't theory. much information about the Reeds anyway. Especially about the girl. She must have never left the house or something. Mm. Well, now their house is a dope urbex attraction. And probably some satanic bullshit place. <laughs> that's every abandoned building. Abandoned. And also every forest. The voice acting is really good. I'm surprised. I'm getting worried if we've been on a black screen for so long. I'm getting worried that okay. I'm like, are we supposed we to here. see something? The main road has been closed many years, so I had to park the car a little further away. And let me tell you, those trees are creepy. It feels like they're looking at me. Oh. This is really good. The voice acting adds a lot. Is that a sign? Look at this handsome fella. I can't see. I can't see. How... How are you supposed to see that? See glasses. Oh, is this it? Oh! That's awesome! That's so cool! Okay, let's take a look inside. Let's go for it. <laughs> This is on a different level so far. Here we are. Wow. This place almost didn't age at all. The echoes Furniture of the voice. Messed up and the windows are nailed, but other than that, pretty good. The mansion was built in the 1930s, and it, and it seems that three different families lived here. Reeds were the last. Okay, it's getting creepy now. <laughs> Remember, you always gotta watch out for homeless people in these places. Homeless. <laughs> I once heard about a guy jump by a hobo with a crowbar in some abandoned railway Abandoned. Station. <laughs> if I had to rank what I don't want to experience while urbexing, hobos with crowbars are a close second. First, they're probably collapsing floors or hobos with knives. May she rest in peace. I think I read that this uh, whole game was made by one person in two months. So we can totally forgive the spelling errors. I don't mind, I just like how it's written, so I can't help but be like, abundant. <laughs> but yeah, so far I'm, I'm very impressed. Lots of paintings. No one thought to steal anything over the years? It looks so good. I love the fisheye lens effect. Oh, actually, I just realized it's not even widescreen. Okay. Hello? Jesus? Como esta? Oh, shiny. Whoa. Can't really find much information about him, only that he was apparently a lawyer. I tried to interview some of their neighbors, but they weren't really helpful, most of them, at least. They didn't remember any details, as if they have some kind of collective amnesia. Or they just don't want to tell you anything. I didn't want to wake you up, so I'm leaving this note. Please feed Remy. Unfortunately, I couldn't manage it because my transportation arrived earlier than expected. I'll be back from the business trip in a week, so hang tight. If Diane's condition worsens, please inform the doctor immediately. Love! Dear Mr. Evans, I hope this letter finds you well. I'm writing to bring to your attention a matter of utmost concern regarding the well-being and safety of my child, Diane Reed, who is an 11th grade student at Clover Springs High School. I regret to inform you that my child has been experiencing persistent bullying. Bullying! It was bullying from classmates. 
and the situation has reached a point where it is adversely affecting their emotional and psychological well-being. This is unacceptable. I believe that it is essential to address this matter promptly to ensure a safe and supportive learning environment for all students. I request that the school administration conducts a thorough investigation into these allegations and takes appropriate measures to address and rectify the situation. Thank you for your understanding and cooperation, Clint Reed. So the dad wrote a letter. Oh, keys. Or is it a whistle? Oh, it's a magnifying glass. Okay, I think it's only those two files. But it's good to know that interactable objects have like a big shine to them. That's very nice. Um, can I? Oh, never mind. There's no, no menu. Oh, what was that? See those little black things? Oh, there. Bugs. Chlorpromazine prescription. Don't know what that is. Okay. Let's keep going, shall we? In a heartwarming turn of events, three missing teenagers have been found safe and sound in the quaint town of Clover Springs. Their disappearance had gripped the community in fear and uncertainty, but the recent discovery has brought immense relief to both families and residents. Emily Jason, Robert Wright, and Lucy Smith have been missing for nearly a month before authorities located them in a small cabin inside the Clover Springs forest. Authorities are now working to reunite the teenagers with their families, facilitating a safe return home. While the reasons behind their disappearance remain private, the emphasis now is on supporting the teenagers as they navigate the aftermath of their ordeal. I saw another eye icon, or was it just from this? Okay, mm. don't see anything else. Oh, there's a shiny thing. Is it on the other side of the wall? Yes. Dear Todd, it's been so long since we last saw you. We're thrilled to visit you for the holidays. Lori is already planning what to bake. She loves to bake. I hope it won't be a problem if we bring something from our end. We need to somehow repay you for such hospitality. On a slightly less cheerful note, Diane won't be able to join us. She's going to a school camp. Oh. How badly did she get bullied on that camp then? Okay, so we came in through there. Oh, I get a little woozy sometimes from the... Wait, can I open these drawers? No. From the fish islands. Oh, do we need to find a crowbar? Yeah, an e-crowbar. Okay. You got it. Let's go up. Mm hmm That's so well done! I love it! He's so spooky! Hello? Don't mind me. What was that? Okay. Oh. The doctor was here and examined her. He said that the illness is not spreading at all, quite the opposite. It's starting to recede. I don't know what to believe anymore. I could swear that while the doctor was writing the prescription, Diane smiled at me. But it wasn't an ordinary smile. I didn't see my daughter's usual warmth in that smile. It was full of satisfaction and anger, as if she had outsmarted me. I need to lie down. Wait, are we saying that the daughter came back a different person? Okay. 
I'm writing regarding my daughter, Diane. Her health has deteriorated significantly, and at times I can barely recognize her. I also get the impression that she doesn't recognize me either. She looks at me with empty, indifferent, almost animalistic eyes. Last night, I was jolted from my bed by terrible screams coming from her room. She's in great pain as the medication is not working. Please come as soon as possible. And then the doctor came, and she's actually not that sick anymore. Diane, the daughter, she got very sick at one point. Something with her spine. Oh. She got really deformed. The pain was that. so intense, her parents were locking her up in a room just to muffle her screams. Dude, that's fucked up. I don't like that that open door cannot be opened further. Like, what's that door's deal? I don't like it. Don't like it. That's the boys' room. That's creepy. Can I read that? No. Hello. <laughs> I hate that when the flashlight goes off. It's just pure blackness. Creepy corridor number two. What the fuck is that? Oh, okay. So the brother was a ventriloquist. Of course he was. Probably his dog. Still in a good condition. Uh, oh god. Oh god. And that is where the parents slept. I, I think. It looks like a bedroom, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it looks really... How long has it been empty, I wonder? Today, late at night, as I was going downstairs to the bathroom, I saw Diane. She was standing in the corner of the dining room, right next to the fireplace, staring blankly into space. Her eyes were completely different, wide open, focused on something. I'm not sure, but I felt like I saw her twitching. I'm very aware that that doll is still in the hallway. At least I hope it's still in the hallway. Ha ha ha. There's nothing in these drawers anyway. <gasps> I need a key. Okay. Okay, he's still there. You stay there, buddy, yeah? You just be a good little doll and stay put. I would very much appreciate that. Oh. Another heavy lock. Oh, you know me. I don't give up this easily. Find the code. How to find the code. Okay. Is there any indicator to where it could be? Really messy in here. I love the voice acting. I suspect this was Diane's old room. The clock started ticking downstairs. What? Why didn't your voice like that? Why isn't he like... Hey, what's that ticking? It's coming from downstairs. That doll is so gonna be gone at one point. Oh, hello. Did I miss you before? Either the doctor made a mistake or he lied. Lied right to my face. I'll stop heeding his advice. Diane has, has never been so deformed. Her bones protrude from beneath her nightshirt and contort into unnatural shapes. She doesn't move all day. Her face has undergone a complete transformation, twisted in a grimace of pain, appearing as if horribly aged. And her eyes, black raven-like eyes, empty yet very present. They stare into the corner. Ooh, little dust thing came by. <laughs> They stare into the corner of her room for hours on end. Maybe she's looking at a demon. Is it this clock? No, it sounds like it's coming from here. Oh, hey. Code three, two, something, something. 
Who put these here? Did you hear that? I did. Oh, I only now realize that the text. So I'll just put it full screen then. I locked Diane in the room. I'm afraid to let her out. She started to become aggressive. Her strange behavior surfaced again last night. She began to demolish the house, throwing dishes and chairs, and then she pushed me away and I lost consciousness. When I regained consciousness, I saw her standing over our son's bed, making a sound as if she were choking. At night, she makes the most terrifying sounds I've ever heard. First time I heard that sound, shivers ran down my spine. It was so unnatural. It couldn't match that sound to anything I'd ever heard before. I'm still not entirely sure it was our daughter. I'm afraid of her. Afraid that she will harm Cody. The clock stopped. So who was that walking about? So is that why no one actually remembers seeing her and she was so secluded? Because she had... She was in a lot of pain. She probably couldn't even walk properly. I also don't know what time it took place, but back in the days, they would often try and kind of like hide sick people. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jeez, you scared me. You scared me so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm fine. What's up? <sighs> Shit. Jesus Christ. I, I understand. Just, I, I'll do it as soon as I get back to the car. I understand. Bye. Who was that? Is the doll gone? The doll's gone! Oh, I told you! Where'd he go? Is that who we heard walking about? Where did he go? <laughs> that phone call scared me so much. <laughs> phone jump scare. Hello, creepy doll. Where'd you go? Wait, that's new. Three, two, two, five. They hide her from the world, lock her in a room with a key, ashamed of her. They pretend as if nothing is happening, as if they there aren't those dreadful screams, as if she isn't my sister, struggling to stay conscious in a small claustrophobic space. Only some dying rat on the floor. When a neighbor asks about Diane, they respond that she's doing great. That she'll soon be going on a school camp. If Diane were to stand in front of those neighbors now, they wouldn't even recognize her. She's become our dirty little secret. So we haven't found the doll yet. I thought the doll was gonna... Hello? Who's there? It must be the draft. <laughs> Draught. <laughs> yeah, sure. That's what it is. Totally. I, I swear at some point this doll is going to come running at me. Uh, wait, how... It's upside down, so this should be fine. Three, two, two. Oh. Um. Yeah, that's three, two, two, five. Do you think we need to just do it upside down? Yep. So is this the sister's room? Oh, Jesus. 
What? Why are there mannequins in this room? What's wrong with you? Space. Okay, I feel a little better now, although... How do I actually hit anything? The electricity tends to act strangely in these houses. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Is it coming from here? Stop it. We don't know if it's copyrighted. Can't risk it. I can't bear to listen to her screams. Those blood-curling screams. I haven't seen my sister for a week. They haven't let her out of the room since then. She can't be treated like that. Tonight, I'll sneak in and let her out. Ooh. Wait, but she... They said that she ended up killing herself, right? Because I feel like that's the setup for her to kill her family. Let's go open up that door downstairs. You really think that... You'd think he would be a little more prepared and bring his own crowbar and stuff. A week had passed since we buried Diane. Cody has hardly said anything since our daughter passed away. Clint has gone on another business trip. The house is so quiet that sometimes it feels like I can still hear the echoes of her screams. Oh! Oops. Hello? What is that? Oh, did the vase fall? Did I do that? Sorry. Oh, long letter. Okay. Dear Todd, I've been struggling to find the right words to convey a message that no one ever wishes to share. Recently, our beloved daughter, Diane, passed away unexpectedly. In light of this heartbreaking situation, it is with great regret that I inform you that we won't be able to make it for our planned Christmas visit. P.S. You have always been a good friend to me, Todd. I probably shouldn't be sharing this with you, just like I never shared it with my wife, but I need to pour out these emotions that have been festering inside me. There aren't good words to dress it up, but I hope you understand. Part of me finds solace in the fact that my daughter has passed away. She truly didn't have an easy childhood. I'm not even sure if she ever experienced a single happy day in her life. I never saw her inviting anyone home, nor did I see her talking to any friends. Painfully, I admit that even Lori, her own mother, didn't hold much love for her. Maybe the mom killed her, and then they made it look like a suicide. Damn, even I sometimes involuntarily showed that strange coldness towards Diane. It seemed like the only person who looked at her normally was Cody. I knew he was bullied. she was bullied in school, I knew it for a long time, but I ignored it. Some sick part of me found satisfaction in it. Then that horrible disease, a dreadful affliction, completely distorted my daughter. I looked at her then, but I couldn't love her. I was somewhat disappointed. When I saw her on the floor of our bathroom completely pale, I felt relief. As if I dropped the baggage I've been carrying for years. Holy moly, dude. Oh, a key. The key is probably to the master bedroom upstairs. <laughs> Where'd that come from? Clint, please come back as soon as possible. Something strange is happening with our son. Lately, he keeps talking about some tall figure that follows him. He experiences episodes of complete disorientation in which he doesn't respond to what I say, doesn't move, as if he's not even there. When I tried to interrupt such an episode, he came aggressive, yelling at me. Sometimes he also talks to himself, mentioning something about Diane. I'm worried about him. Oh, is she still with him in spirit? Hello? Where'd the dog go? What's the dog doing? Jesus. What a smell. So what is this room for? Study the map. The doors are always... Dear diary, the doors are always closed. My mother... So this is Diane's room. My mother locks them and there's only one key in the house. Nothing can get out and nothing can get in. I used to think I could hide from him. He calls out to me every night, and I hear the creaking of the floors as he moves through the house. Music? What? I hear his skin shifting with each step, and the melody he sometimes plays. I cover my mouth then, so no sound escapes. 
But even that doesn't work anymore. He appeared at midnight. I couldn't fall asleep, so I sat at my desk. When I turned around, there he stood by the door of my room, staring at me. The doors were still locked. Oh, we're studying the map here. What am I hearing? Looks like there's a secret passage downstairs. Next to the bathroom? Is that what you mean? Basement? Dining room, main entrance. Okay, so either the back of the storage room or... Oh, that's the stairs going up, so it must be the back of the storage room then. I wish I could see those paintings better. That's a big shirt. Second, I thought someone was on the ceiling. Oh, Who's that? What? Music's so good. Lost my voice because of it. Are you sure you want to leave? There's the secret thing. I don't want to look at the secret thing. So, storage room? I can't open it. Okay. I guess we have to try and leave first. Oh, this is not the kitchen. Do I have the map? Because, okay, I don't remember. Must be here then. Oh, something in the fridge. Leave nothing you hear and only half of what you see. Hmm. Whoa! Oh! They got here fast. How are you even standing? Oh, I don't trust this. Oh, why are you so creepy? Okay, storage room's open. Yeah, of course, now you won't close the door. Hey, the little dog. They are buried in the walls. Who are? Can you move this? Isn't there a door here? It just came through it. Got any keys? Bathroom. Oh, Jesus. What did she say? Bathroom? Oh, the door is back. <gasps> Jesus! Is the bathroom that way? No, it's not the bathroom. <sighs> Get out. I'm trying. Can we pull the stop, maybe? Oh! 
storage room key. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh. Um, is it gonna drop on me? Weird. Floating objects. I keep thinking telekinesis, but poltergeist. That's the word. Oh, Jesus. From zero to a hundred real quick. Hello. Dude must be like, I can't believe I got all down tape. Okay, that door doesn't work. Holy shit! Whoa. I wasn't even looking there. Who? Uh, Mom and dad? Cody? Or missing kids. The, was it three missing kids in two weeks? The body of 22 years old Judy Flores was found in the river this morning. The girl fell to her death from a six- I am so sorry. First responders declared her dead at the scene. The tragedy is being investigated as a possible suicide. Judy he is in the hallway. That she has been battling depression for a long time. He's in the hallway. Wait, so who? Who actually did all this then? Do you think Diane was being hung? Ah, Jesus! The ventriloquist doll. There he is. Oh, jeez. Do you think Diane was being haunted by a devil? Ending three. And then she killed herself to get away from it, but then it just possessed Cody? The lifeless body of Dean Holt was found in Clover Springs. Cause of death has not been disclosed. Wait, ending three? How do I get ending one and two? Very good. Great atmosphere, good voice acting. Aaron Schulman. Good job, dude. Voice on the radio is also very good. Radio host. Man, they were great. Okay. Mansion, basement, field. Wait, so how... what do we do for different endings? I, I didn't really get the sense like there were options we could... Do you think it's a thing of like, maybe turn around and go home before anything goes bad? Here we are. <sighs> this place almost didn't age at all. Furniture's all messed up and the windows are nailed, but other than that... Pretty good. Can we just leave? Haha, <laughs> ending one! <laughs> Dean couldn't handle the pressure of returning to vlogging. Here the story comes to an end. Oh, that's a good ending. <laughs> He's just like, I was built in the 1930s. Well, see you later. <laughs> hmm. So what about ending two? What can we do differently? Hey, apparently we can hide from the monster. The tragedy is being investigated as a possible suicide. He is in the hallway. Oh, there. I heard it open. Mm. Okay, I think we can.
Why are you breathing? Oh. Okay, you fucking stay in there. No. Oh, dear lord. Oh, god. Oh, god. Oh, god. <gasps> oh, my god. Go out the window. I would serious. I would fucking jump out of the window so quick. I have a spine but no bones. I have no heartbeat, yet I hold life's hook. Excuse me? What are you talking about, little weirdo? Well, I have no flashlight anymore. Maybe I dropped it somewhere. Is it the clock? No. Oh. Oh, I thought it was getting... It is getting darker. I was hanged by a rope at the center of town. Oh. Sent to drown. G to throw. Wait, what do we throw it to? Look higher, knock over the bucket. Dude, what bucket? It's too dark. Okay. Seat. Oh, break the window. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Get out of here. Wait, so who helped you escape? Who wrote those messages on the walls? Is this... Are we leaving the property or entering it again? I hope we're leaving. Do you think we're safe outside or... Should I run to my car? This is a very... Oh? Is it a loop? Uh-oh. Should I go off the path? It doesn't look like I can, though. Do you think it just... ...loops back to the house? Oh, I can't even run back. Hmm. The dude's breeding is so realistic. I keep thinking it's me. <laughs> okay. That was a loud scream. Well, each time is different so far, so I guess maybe I should just keep going. Is it giving is it getting more oh it's getting more overgrown? Do you hear that? Ravens. I don't know if I should go to the sound of the chimes or away from it.
You don't like that. I guess I'm going the other way. Oh, brother. Tried to follow the wind chimes, but it didn't lead anywhere. It's gonna be the same. There's so much more behind ending too than I expected. Hello. Ah, oh, shit. Well, it's playing slightly different sounds every time, so I think I'm just supposed to keep going. Ooh. What? That felt so heavy. Like something just missed me. Dude, don't like this. Is it gonna grab me this time? Jeez. What the fuck is it? Did someone throw something at me? Jesus. Diane, this is not funny. Hello? Okay. Wait, so do you mean I should just keep moving forward at all times and don't look behind me? Oh, which way should I go though? Keep going. More. Hello? Hello? She gonna help me again? Why is my my Do I have to be quiet? Ha! Huh. <laughs> Resist, I had to try it. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, ending three. Wait. Does that mean there's four endings? There has to be a way out of the maze, right? <laughs> Hello? Okay, gotta be quiet now. Hello? Let's try it.
<laughs> oh my god. Ending five. Ooh, yeah. Did we make it out? Oh. You said nothing? God damn it. Should I have gone back? So happy I made it out. Okay, so as long as you don't make a sound, you're pretty much fine in the maze. And it just throws a couple scares at you to try and like get you to huh! and then it <laughs> gets you. <laughs> it's so fun. Wait, did I go? I think I went from ending one, two, three to five. How many endings are there? How many are there? Because he did look behind them. I still have a little bit of time. Now that I know the way, it should be pretty quick. Find you. Don't look at them. What is this? I went a different, different way. I don't know where I went. Oh, oh, okay. Wait, no microphone this time. Hello? Yoo-hoo! Whoop! Do you think I just broke the game? Because I'm not getting killed anymore and the microphone's still on screen. So he looks behind them, but there isn't actually anything here. I can't even go back in, so... Do you think there's maybe some other way I could have gone? In the field? It's kind of weird because it feels like this is the escape ending, but we don't get any like nice ending or it's just dot dot dot. So that's why I thought that maybe there had to be more, but it feels like that's like the ending or we want to get. So I guess I'll leave it here. I, I don't really know if there's an ending for. It seems like no one's really done any videos on this. I've, I found like, <laughs> so I found two videos. One video showed that how to keep going in the basement and then I saw that we could hide in a locker and then another video I found they stop before even breaking the window with the rock because I think they couldn't figure it out or maybe it wasn't even finished back then and that was just where the game ended back then if you played for yourself and you find out what ending four is unless I had ending four I'll have to check my own recording maybe my jet lag is just getting to me remember I get one week to blame jet lag and after that I'm just sleepy <laughs> I have it linked in the video description, of course. I paid $3.39 for it, so very cheap, very fun. I had a great time, very well done, voice acted, good atmosphere. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I'm gonna leave it there in that case. Leave a like if you did enjoy it, and thank you so much for watching. <laughs>